all today, sorts of though. twists and turns. Yeah, he's in the side today. It's Wednesday. Get underway. The ball is launched forward there with Barry Bannon. So much, uh, I guess, nervous energies for the, the sides that thought they were safe. Suddenly they find themselves maybe getting sucked into it. Wednesday here just looking to defend with Palmer. Just hooks it over his own head. He's looking for Pervader. Doesn't quite manage to find him. Again, Palmer Good just a little cushioned header down. Wednesday working on with uh, Vokes. Now also chasing this one, but uh, not able to get possession. It's now played forward, but uh, it looks a bit bobbly, to say the least, down that part of the field. Obviously, we've had very heavy rain again, which hasn't helped anything as the ball goes back in towards the left-back position and Johnson does the sensible thing and goes back for his goalkeeper, Beadle, who uh, plays this one forward, goes up towards the middle. It'll drop back down again, and I think uh, Hecway just going to leave that one to run through for Beadle. Dickey goes across his own back line in towards Viner. Viner played it short and found Tanner. The ball goes over the top and they've got onto it. Wednesday just standing off them. <coughs> Sorry about that. I've been struggling all week with this as it's crossed over. Good save there by Beadle. Just beats it down into the floor. And Pervader just managing to get hold of the ball for Sheffield Wednesday as they Great try and counter-attack from the play. save. It goes out towards the left-hand side. And it's now with Masaba. Masaba, dancing oh. theme, and then he's stopped in his tracks by... Unlucky. A good challenge, really, by uh, Tanner. It was a case of just watching the ball and not being mesmer mesmerised by the footwork from the winger. And it goes down the side, down the other end, end-to-end -end it is. And they've got on the end of it and crossed it, or attempted to cross it, but it goes over the top of the netting and it is behind. And it'll be a goal kick for Sheffield Wednesday. Yes, yeah, good defending by Bristol City in the first instance. Masaba attacking the fullback, you know, and, and to be fair, he did a really good job, and then they countered. In the corporate areas today, I had uh, Miguel Yera, who was obviously a compatriot and former teammate of Cisco. He was saying he actually got in touch with him, was interested in working with him at the start, didn't really get a. A bite to that opportunity as the ball goes into the area. It's Ugbo oh! What a finish! Lovely football for Wednesday, flowing down the right hand side. And Iki Ugbo turns and sweeps the ball in at the cop end. It's a delightful finish, giving Max O'Leary no chance whatsoever. And that's Wednesday's first real meaningful attack on goal. And they've took that chance and they lead here after 15 minutes. It's Wednesday 1, Bristol City nil. Absolute quality from Ugbo, absolute beauty. He turned a silly, fantastic first touch and his turn swivelled and just fired it in the keeper's bottom right hand corner. That was a quality goal. Great pro uh, cross as well from Liam Palmer. Yeah, I was going to say it was Palmer. Valentin slides it onto him. Palmer carries on running and there is Iki Ogbo just turning and swivelling to thrash the ball in past the goalkeeper. But again, that goal demonstrates the the flexibility of the system as well and the shape is not just rigid he doesn't just play as a third center back he seems to have settled you know and, and not only he has settled he seems determined you know to, to play a part uh, and he's not just sat back and, and drifted and gone out of the squad he's, he's fighting for his place ball goes down the line in towards Pervader back to Palmer, who's really getting the chance to go forward. And he moves it again play. for Valentin. Valentin uses his pace to good effect. He goes in the box. Can he pull this one back? He's put it backwards and it hasn't quite come for us. Pervader will take it though outside the area oh, and tries to drill that. it hard, but it's rising. But uh, again, some tidy football from Wednesday. And they're definitely having a lot of joy down this right-hand side. Yeah, I mean, Liam Palmer's had an outstanding first <laughs> 22 and a half minutes or whatever he has. He's... Uh, He's certainly cooking on gas, uh, and Valentin's gone on that overlap. It's a little bit difficult trying to pick somebody out. He was closed down really quickly. Dickey plays it short in towards Viner, and it goes out wide, but again, they've just flicked it back to Wednesday. It was Sykes who uh, gave... Bannon has got in a bit of a tangle himself there, and they've worked it forward towards That's Conway. Play. Conway works it outside. Again, Could Sykes has found up. space, a chance to uh, put the ball in there, and he's tried to whack it with some force, and it's deflected behind for a corner. The corner is played over, and the header goes in. 
Well, it's a looping header, and they're back on level terms. Sheffield Wednesday not really picking up Jason Knight, and he's managed to lead, I guess, from the front, the captain for Bristol City, beating Beadle, and uh, we're back on level terms. Sheffield Wednesday won, Bristol City won from that corner. Yeah, well, that's come completely out of the blue. Didn't see it coming. It's a great corner, and he's just got up there. He's got, he's unmarked, and he's picked it out right in the top corner. I mean, look at him. Nobody's well gone him. with him. Michael Hecway goes back and strokes this one on in towards Beadle, who plays it long. He's looking to find uh, Ugbo, who's on the halfway line. Oh, he stood and watched. Wednesday. Maybe in trouble here, oh. they've just uh, given a foul away. A bit of ball watching, as you say. Well, they had a player offside who wasn't interfering with play. So the referees rightly let the game go. You, you don't stop until the referee blows his whistle. He could be sent off for this one. He could get sent off. And what's he going to do? He's having a conversation. What's he going to reach for? He's got his top pocket. And what colour card is he going to produce here? Bernard. I think that's a, goal, that's a goal-scoring opportunity. We haven't seen the replay fully of the uh, the incident. But still, it's a yellow card. Very, he's, very lucky. He's escaped, perhaps, there. A yellow card for Bernard. Let's see whether we can clear this. Here we go. Yeah, he, he is just uh, Look, he's expecting. He's exp I don't know. How... Oh. Have we got a man covering there? No. He's looking to put his hand in the air. Folks, finding Bernard. Plays it through. This is a short pass in towards Masaba. He gets it on the return now. Masaba comes inside now for Will Vokes. They look to challenge him, but he gets it away towards Palmer. On nice there from done. Valentin. Nicely done. In towards Perveda, steps inside, good balance, and tries to flick it away. Will Vokes has got hold of it, and he struck it. Unlucky, unlucky. The goalkeeper just watches it and was able to make a save. A little bit awkward for him, but it was a comfortable in the end. Yeah, it's good build-up play, encouraging, finishing with a shot on target. It's not the shot that he uh, intended, Will Vokes. He wanted more power. I suppose it's, it's picking, isn't it, when to use that skill, and that was a, an opportunity. That was when, yeah, that was when he should have been using it. He's running at him, he's, you know, n knows that he's got the beating of him, he's got more pace than him. Bannon Great Takes torch. it down, it's come there for Ugbo. Ugbo takes it on, he's managed to find Masaba. He's got a run on the outside, which is Johnson. He's gone towards the box, though. Masaba, does he fancy it himself? He's tried to chink the way through, and again, I'm not sure that's the right choice. We regain it with Bannon, though. Masaba. Works it away for Johnson. Comes back for Will Vokes, who just struggles with the ball. It now comes up towards uh, Valentin. Nobody come wants to strike it yet, though. Palmer, it'll come out wide for Perveda. Perveda looking to try and take on the fullback Pring. Puts it in the air. Is anyone going to attack that ball? It's come back for Johnson, who will hit it now. And it's hit oh! it! And oh! it goes I said he's deadly in and around the box. We're seeing it once again. The ball was delightful from Johnson, and he just glances it, redirects it, and places it past to O'Leary. And Wednesday, just before half time, regaining the lead. And it's an up Ugbo double. Icky Ugbo makes it 2 1 to Sheffield Wednesday. Well, don't really know what to say about <laughs> that. It's just there. Right time, right place, gets his head to it. I'll tell you who else deserves credit. Pavada out on this right hand side. He's put a fantastic cross in. He's gone away, he's gone to Marvin Johnson. He's chucked his time. A great volley. Pavel, there's no doubt about that. He's been excellent. Johnson, well, he oh. dived in there, but uh, McCrory was able to keep hold of it. Then there was a challenge that came back at him and he's yeah. fouled him as uh, Johnson. I'm surprised if he don't get a book in as well. But no. Referee sounds his whistle for the free kick to come over. Goes into the box and a glancing header, but that's again not directed in the right location there from Viner. And it'll be a goal kick. Dickey just strokes it short. In towards uh, Gardner Hickman. Goes back again for Williams. 
Go on, come on, go that on. should be our ball now. Oh, that's Will a Vokes in needed... towards Masaba. Go on! Down the way. He's in his stride. Can he get beyond the last defender coming across? He goes for the early cross. He finds Pervader. Pervader lays it off for the chance, and it's a miss hit there. That could have been the hat trick for Ugbo, but he missed it. It was an air shot, really. For me, Pervader could be really ruthless and do it himself. I don't know. I thought it was really unselfish. I think, uh, I mean, this is a superb ball from Masaba. Picking out Pervader. He's got it. Yeah, no, he's, I think he's right. <sighs> Dear me, best chance of the second half. He's thinking the hat trick. The headlines are there, flashing in front of his eyes, but. Bannon moves it on to Perveda, that will step over the two with him. Back towards Bannon. Bannon puts it into the middle. Can we connect with this one? It's cleared away only as far as Johnson. Johnson oh, doesn't fine. connect with that one quite as cleanly as he did for the uh, the second goal that Ugbo scored. I thought he was going to do something similar for a second. Will Vokes plays a long diagonal and he that manages to ball. find him. Perveda takes Come it down. On. Now Jan Perveda going in towards the box. He plays it across. Another opportunity. Will it present itself for Ugbo? He comes back. There's Will Vokes. And again, he doesn't oh, quite get on. hold of it. Seemed to hit the... Uh, I suppose the studs almost when he swings at that ball, and it's a fairly tame effort in the end. It's going to be a Wednesday throw, this, by the way, rather than the uh, Bristol City <coughs> one. Ogbo competing for it. He's kept it in play, but loses possession. Bernard wins his header. Now we need Johnson to win something, and he's uh, kicked it forward. He needs the challenge again and try and win it. Bannon takes it down, though, and manages to try and pick out possibly a, a pass for... Valentin who gives chase and he's put pressure on the defender Roberts and he loses out it's still with Valentin who has a goal oh! it just wide of the target Valentin so unlucky using his pace to good effect well, he's pushing the defender out the way and then uh, executing what I thought was almost the perfect finish well. Bannon Nice little flick there from Bannon. He just lost it though, and that's nicely done by Wells. He just clips it over the top, and now Conway. He's not he's uh, going to get a free kick. They're allowed to carry on, and now they've got an opportunity. It's fed into the space and cleared away. A desperate challenge, and still Wells they need to defend their lines. There's men all over the place on the floor. That was very alarming. Still though, the chance to uh, keep the pressure on Sheffield Wednesday. Don't let this cross come over, they just flicked it backwards. I think that's Williams who's got the ball, lays it off. A long-range shot might be on, it's headed away there. It comes back for Conway, who got fouled in that initial build-up. McClory, down he goes. No foul, though, this time as Masaba. And then Johnson takes the ball for Wednesday. Perveda chasing hard, can he get there ahead of Dickey? He's putting Dickey under pressure, and he's well, kept he's it in well. play. And it's worked inside by Viner. And now Williams. Williams works that one on for King. Andy King in space. They don't use him. He goes back for Williams this time. I can see Michael Smith just uh, maybe coming out to uh, Limbrough. It looks like he's maybe ready to go, I think. Perhaps just uh, awaiting final instruction. The ball comes back. I think Dickey. Ugbo has been a little tired in the last five ten minutes or so yeah i think there's a, a case for that the ball goes inside there williams trying to link up wednesday with perveda makes the challenge and combines with bannon perveda now can he take on dickie and beat him he's got the speed he's gonna hammer him he's still going forward and he flicks it away for masaba masaba has to come inside and hits it and doesn't really get hold of it uh -uh. masaba i think his touch lets him down and then he's trying to dig it out but Perveda, one on one against Dickey, was uh, really giving him a heart attack there. Yeah, you, you can see with Perveda now, he's struggling to get back. You know, he's just coming back over the halfway line. But uh, he's, had, he's certainly, he was fantastic first half. He's a great player. I wish he was completely 100% fit. Ball goes out towards the flank now, and McCrory puts the crossover. It's headed in the air by Johnson. Needs to head it again, and he will do. And he finds Masaba. Masaba trying to flick it round the corner. Perveda wanted it. 
I mean, he certainly wants the ball going forward and he finds the energy for that side of it, but I don't think he's in any great rush to uh, use it defensively at the minute. Do we miss a booking then? I didn't see it if we did. By the way, you did miss a card, it was Bernard. I was wondering why he went off and uh, didn't appear to come straight on. He's got a red card, he's got a second uh, booking. Beadle plays it forward again, we don't find Smith. Will Vokes, again that ball is a little bit aimless, when's he panicking in possession? They're not keeping possession, they're obviously knowing the importance of this, but they're allowing them to get the ball back. McCrory tries to play it on, that's a poor pass. Just Johnson. Send it, send it. Goes long looking for Smith to chase after. A bit of a scrap, but he might have a chance. Smith's throw, a chance for Michael Smith. Saved by the goalkeeper, he was one on one. There was no one else around him, and it comes off O'Leary. Should have bagged that. The goalkeeper's way out of his area when he makes that save. Well, not out of his area, I mean, he's really far forward in his area, I should say. The plain little triangles. Viner. Goes out wide in towards McCrory, who's done well since coming on at half-time. McCrory plays it inside, it's going to be clipped in, they win the header. Liam Palmer heads it away, Gassama will keep it in play. Oh, no, what are you doing there? He's going to try and dance with it, it's gone out, hasn't it? Bannon, oh, no, it's Ricochet back into our area. We made a mistake there, and it could have been costly. There was a last-ditch challenge from uh, Michael Heckway at the end of it on King, and I think they've got a corner from it. Yeah. There are six, five seconds left. The bad choices there. Gassama needed to get rid of it. We've already conceded one corner in the first half. And realistically, if Bristol City are going to get an equaliser, it's going to come from another one. We passed the 95 minute mark. The right footed delivery will come over. Over it goes. Who's going to win the header? Wednesday gets something to it. And Heckway got his head on it, but it's gone out the other side. And what's he going to give? Yeah! yeah! It's all over. Wednesday take a vital three points here against Bristol City. Two goals from Iki Agbo. In the first half, were decisive despite the fact that in between Bristol City got themselves back on level terms through their captain Jason Knight. Wednesday win, not all the results elsewhere were ideal, but we're keeping the pressure on and the battle goes on for another, another day. Yeah, I mean, great win, great, great win, fantastic day. Stoke have dropped into the bottom three now, by the way. Okay. But still so much, so far to go. A lot of hard games for teams down the bottom today and some of the results are, are frightening. But, OK, some of the results haven't gone our way. It's just how it is, it's football. But we've done our job, it's all we can do.